Oh, I just want I just want to explain some things about this turbine before we get started here on the test. Um, it has some issues. So the power output that we get is not anywhere close to what we could achieve with the issues fixed after we fix the issues. First of all, check that magnet out right there. It's not balanced. You can see it moving. The magnet's not on there straight because not all of these magnets that come from the magnet company are straight. So we have some perfectly symmetrical magnets that we will put on our new turbines. We've got the new turbines already built or about 80% built. I'll show you the rotors. The rotor on this is actually not correct as well. Okay, so here's the new rotors that I've designed and built, and they're it's much more symmetrical than the other rotor, but also take a look at how much more surface area this turbine has or rotor than this rotor. The surface area in this is many times greater, but the biggest impact is how close the discs are together. When you decrease the distance between the discs by half, you increase the surface or you increase the viscosity between the discs by four times, I believe. So we will get much more torque out of this rotor than this rotor. So we should be able to at least or maybe triple I'm guessing triple the um, performance of the turbine of, with our new tests with, this, with these better rotors. So we're going to boil one and a quarter cup of water or about almost 300 milliliters of water. Almost 300 millimeter, milliliters of water and we'll calculate the amount of watts, the amount of power we get from our turbine here. I have these little boiler things with uh, copper plates on the inside of the box. So we'll fill these up with this water. We'll record the temperature before we start the test We'll boil the water and we'll find out how much time it takes to raise the temperature. And because we know the volume of water, we will know the we will know how many watts we've produced in that amount of time. We might go with 100 psi, but we're not sure if that'll be too much power for our resistors here. We will set these right next to the magnet, one on each side, and we'll begin to watch the boiling happen here. We're going to start the test about what I explained earlier. Um, we've got our temperature probes right here, and this one shows temperature, it says 78, and this one shows the temperature of the other side. So temperature on this side and temperature on this side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it up to a boil um, and then we will find out how much energy was produced. Um, we're at about 100 psi, 105 psi and let's see how this goes. Everybody ready? Go.
one fell over and that one stayed on. <laughs> it just sucked Whoa. back. It stopped boiling. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Chuck.